Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's going to be an interesting one. Basically, as you guys probably would have seen in the video before my office tour, I showed you guys that some of my clothes are currently being transferred from weird ugly hangers to nicer hangers which i'll show you guys in just a second so long story short it's going to be a closet transformation kind of so i'll show you guys where my winter clothes currently is and where my summer clothes is going to be so to give you a little bit of a backstory i live with my family my bedroom is downstairs and i to be to be honest i just really don't like my bedroom i've had it since i was like 10 or 12 and so it doesn't really serve me the only reason i and there is honestly just to sleep but so I'm transforming this office space into a beauty room slash a little nook where I can drink my tea slash an office space where I can actually do work and be productive so with that being said I want to show you guys kind of what I have going on and what I plan on doing so first things first this is currently my rack so what I want to have in this room specifically, in this closet specifically, I want to have all my summer things. So over here I have some of my summer things or like my transition pieces. So here you'll see I have more trenchy pieces. This is a Zara coat, but in the cooler nights this would work really well. Here I have some dresses, I have my blazers over here, my uh, jeans jackets and then here are my um, leather jackets so first and foremost I want to take all of these hangers and replace them with these hangers over here which are these black hangers that I got from Amazon and I got them in a pack of a hundred I think and I will link these down below in case you guys are interested so all of these hangers are going to be taken in place of these and then eventually put into this closet over here and then one thing too is that I still have some clothes downstairs that I have laid out because this is only part of my summer transition clothing I guess I do have some stuff downstairs as well more like basics and some button-ups and stuff like that but to be honest with you I don't really have a super extensive summer wardrobe a lot of my clothes which I'll show you guys is predominantly winter clothing because I have like seven million tranches but like two button ups. So what I wanna do now is I wanna show you guys downstairs all my shoes, my summer spring shoes that I would wear predominantly during these months because they're kind of flats and sandals and stuff that I wouldn't wear during winter months cause like imagine getting water in your feet, that's just disgusting. So I wanna show you guys that really quick. And another thing I want to mention is this closet right now, it's currently has uh, kind of like storage stuff so what I need to do is take whatever is in this closet over here and I need to put that downstairs and in my closet so I'm gonna make it half of my winter wardrobe and then half of the storage space and then bring up the remainder of my summer stuff and put it in that closet does that make any sense I have no idea but I'll walk you guys through it it just sounds a lot more complicated but I want to show you guys my uh, winter closet and I want to show you guys also um, my shoes. Okay, so we are downstairs right now and the lighting is not the best but we're going to work with what we have. So basically, so these are all of my summer shoes that I have. Summer, spring, kind of fallish, but I would predominantly wear these during these months just because a lot of them you can see is open toe, they're sandals, like they're just not appropriate for it when it's like pouring down rain and it's like 20 degrees out. So all of these shoes over here, I need to find space for them in my closet. So one thing, I want to do is potentially get some type of rack so it can hold these because for example this row over here are my sneakers these are this is like my favorite section and these I would wear all year round so these will stay up there when I switch out my wardrobe again into the winter clothing so I need to find space for these and then these over here this little pile of I don't know what this is going to be the remainder of the clothes that I need to hang on those black hangers that I showed you guys. So these are just some basic, some t-shirts, some button-ups, some work-appropriate, more formal tops and stuff like that. 
So I'm basically going to make upstairs my summer wardrobe section and then keep my winter wardrobe one down there so the lighting in my room is not really ideal you can't really see much but hopefully you'll get at least an idea of what i'm talking about so so this is currently my closet in my room and this all of this over here is all my winter stuff so all of this is sweaters, cardigans, all of these are like coats and trenches and all the way back there, that over there are scarves. And then up here I have all my boots. So all of these are my winter boots. And then down here, here it looks horrendous and that will be fixed. But this is basically all my workout shoes. And then down here are all my winter boots. So this stuff I'm going to keep down here, but I'm just going to reorganize it this is a little bit irrelevant to me right now because this closet is what I'm going to be using as storage. So now I'm going to take the stuff from the upstairs closet and I'm going to put that in here because I need the upstairs closet, long story short. However, one thing that I'm still trying to figure out that I need to do is I have a, um, a drawer and this drawer is all of my jeans and pants anything like that so I need to find a way to put that into my closet upstairs but for all of my workout clothes all of my workout shoes not really like athleisure shoes but like things I genuinely use when I lift I'm gonna keep that downstairs upstairs is gonna be like my inspiration section anything that I can pull easy for summer and all my beauty products and stuff like that so these are some of my jeans and pants so these are some of my jeans and my pants. Sorry, the lighting is a little wax, so you can't really see it, but I have some olive green pants. I have some lighter wash. I have a lot of black pants, more Colette style pants over here. And then I have a bunch in the wash, maybe like four or five other pairs. So I need to take all of these over here and find a space for them upstairs in my office slash beauty room type of situation. But anyway, long, that's, the long story. I was going to say long story short, but it's definitely not short. So now I'm going to get going and show you guys what I do. So if you want to stay tuned and see this mess kind of come together slowly, then just keep on watching. Look so amazing, but the process to get to that is like a pain in the ass. That's literally what's happening right now. I could be the best thing in your life. You got me singing. You look like a guy you could treat me right. Okay, so as you guys probably can see, like the majority of the things that I'm hanging that's considered my sterile clothes is actually like very winter appropriate. Like these are all um, leather jackets, denim jackets, kind of thicker-ish blazers. But genuinely, like I just don't have a lot of summer clothes. Like I find more fashion inspiration in winter clothes. So this is kind of pieces that are more transitional. So like this leather jacket, I can wear it when it's like cooler during the month or like at nighttime, you know? But when it comes to actually like my actual summer clothes, I probably only have like three or four like legit button ups or things that I can wear and not like feel like I'm gonna pass out in. So this is gonna be like my starting closet. And then from there, I'm gonna go and I'm going to like build up on it and hopefully get clothes that are, don't make me wanna suffocate. So yes. So this would be literally a perfect example of what I was talking about. So this is a tan colored oversized blazer from H&M and I can totally wear this in the, in the winter time and even in the fall time if anything. It's pretty thick so it probably works better then. But see like in this case I would probably wear like a tank top, loose tank top situation. I can probably pull it off if it's like in the high 60s. So, but yeah, that's genuinely something I need to get situated is getting an actual summer wardrobe. But see like this, I can make work, might get a stroke from the heat, but probably not, you know? So this piece I am super excited about. It's this olive green 
long dress that hits a little bit above the ankles so I don't have to wear anything underneath and it can be an outfit on its own and it kind of has these tortoise shell buttons on it and you guys can see like it still has the tag on it I ended up buying it during the springtime just haven't had the chance to wear it because like here in Oregon summer is like two months out of the year so yeah, so I'm really excited about this, but this is a good example because this is actually summer appropriate and I'm really excited to wear it and it's like airy and light, you know? Yeah, so I'm really excited to wear this and so you'll see in the end I'm going to have this rack and this is going to be like my inspiration rack with clothes that I want to wear or that inspire me or that are new that I want to get wear out of. So this is definitely going to be on this rack. <laughs> So here basically I have like four different types of trench coats that I had bought in from H&M this year and the season passed. And okay, technically, technically, you're not gonna be wearing a trench when it's like 90 degrees out. But since here it's, honestly, it's not even summer yet. Like it's pouring rain today. So this would be a perfect example of when I can pull that out and wear it and not look like I'm weather confused, you know? So. I'm going to keep these up here because in Oregon you honestly never know what the weather is going to look like so I can start off with wearing these more often and then once it gets warmer I can transition into my cool new summer clothes that I'm hopefully going to get. You know what I mean? Okay, I want to show you all kind of what's going on. So all of this has been cleared. I still have to put my little inspiration clothing on the gold racks, but I'll get to that after everything is basically done. So everything just organized. So long story short, this is the full closet and these are all my summer clothes. Summer clothes. <laughs> So here I have all of my black pants going from light, from darkest to lightest. Black pants, navy pants, random collets, and then some of my jeans, some of them are still in the wash that I need to put up after. And then here I have all of my tank tops, short sleeves, things that I can wear under jackets. And then I have my button ups in here, dresses, and then it goes to the thickest possible. So blazers, um, denim, leather, and then back there are my trench coats. So now the dilemma I'm currently having is I'm, I'm thinking I need to get a stand or something and put that there to fit all of my shoes because I just don't want them to be separated, having some up here and some down there because there's no like rhyme or reason for it. As opposed to if it was my winter shoes, I could have my boots up there and then like more sneakery flats down here but it just doesn't work like that in my head <laughs> so now I'm just trying to figure out where my shoes are gonna go and basically how they're gonna look like but like you can see my closet is not super packed so we have a lot of room to work with and yeah Okay, so that is basically all my shoes, all my summer shoes, and I'm actually really happy they all fit at the bottom. So that leaves the top, it's still basically empty. So those are all my summer shoes. I kind of have a general idea of what I, I was doing, but like, okay, so basically my white shoes, sneakers, athleisure over there too, and then goes into the loafer section, and then more flats, and then random sandal over here, but okay. And then here I have my mules, all of my sandals, and then here I have more of like the heeled mules, and then it goes all the way to the bottom, which you can kind of see over there is kind of my more tan looking shoes that are flats. And that basically is what's going on there. Okay, hi. By the way, sorry if there is noise in the background, someone's mowing their lawn, but I wanna show you guys kind of the finished look, I guess. Okay, hold on, let me close the window. Excuse me, I'm trying to film. Okay, so, okay, so 
long story short, I have my little inspiration rack over here and it has some of my favorite pieces, pieces that I want to wear, blah, blah. So I want to show it to you basically. So this is kind of what we're working with. So, oh, one thing I want to say too is the rest of these hangers over here that I didn't use and the rest of the gold ones that are technically supposed to be over here but I don't have anything to put on them, I just kept them here because clearly half my closet is empty on this side so I have space for it. And over here, okay, I'm going to close this window too. So here I have a few pieces that I love and wear and I want to continue to wear. I have my leather jacket, my black H&M blazer that I love so much, this oversized Levi's jacket that I had bought in maybe like a week and a half, two weeks ago. And then over here I have this olive green, ooh, excuse me, this olive green uh, dress that I showed you guys earlier and then last but not least this H&M dress that cinches in up the waist that I bought but still haven't worn so I want to wear that and then my shoe inspiration down here I have these shoes that I had bought in from H&M and they totally look like Zara shoes and they were $24 and I could not pass them up and they're just so chic and they're so classy so I got those still haven't worn them but I want to, so that's why they're on the rack. And then these are my Nike shoes that I love and they kind of have like a glow in the dark type of situation. So cool, especially like, imagine that with an oversized blazer, like, and mom jeans, you know? And then the last shoe is this pair of loafers that I got from Zara. Honest to God, hands down, probably one of the best purchases I've ever made in my entire life. I am obsessed with those shoes. But yes, that is basically what's going on. Okay, so long story short, that is my closet transformation, I guess you can call it. I basically took everything and did a whole whirlwind with it. But back here with the rest of those black hangers over here, once winter and fall comes around and I have to bring up my winter and fall wardrobe here and put down my summer clothes into my room, then I will take those hangers and I will put them with my winter clothes because they still have the weird hangers downstairs. So that's kind of what's happening there. But besides that, that is basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am literally sweating so hard. like. I don't know what's going on, but I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go change because that's so hot. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think of the setup back here, and if you think that there's something that's probably easier, more efficient, then just let me know because the more space I can have to buy clothes, the better. You know? Okay. But that's all from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.